everyone, Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com and I am back with another video in my Flashcard 2.0 series. Now this card was inspired by a very dear stamping friend of mine, Margaret Rayburn. She created one much like this and when I took a look at it I said, hmm, I think that's a flashcard in the making. So this is my take on her card and uh, we're going to be focusing on the six-sided sampler bundle today. So let's go ahead and get started with our card. Now we're going to begin as we always do with our flashcard 2.0 pieces. Now a lot of you have asked if I would start incorporating a little more designer paper into the flashcards. So today I'm going to be using um, the Gingham Garden designer series paper. I have cut this to the exact same size I would for any other flashcard 2.0. So five and an eighth, I'm sorry, five and a half by two and an eighth. So that's the piece of my designer series paper. Of course, my Whisper White is um, just the same as it is for Flashcard 2.0. Now, if you're going, hmm, what is this Flashcard 2.0 you speak of, Connie? You can find a video that will explain all about that template by going to YouTube and searching Connie Stewart Flashcard 2.0. I'll share with you how we keep this template on hand, and when we need a card in a flash, we grab two pieces, and that's all we need to start creating. Now my card base today is in Whisper White. I have cut that at eight and a half by five and a half and scored it at four and a quarter. So just a standard card size fits into an A2 envelope or Stampin' Up's medium envelopes. Okay, we're actually going to start with our card and I'm going to do a little bit of stamping slash sponging. I'm going to come in with a Daffodil Delight ink pad and a Stampin' Sponge. And I have got the fold side of my card right here and I'm just going to sponge on some color. I needed just a little bit more splash of color on this card, and this was a great way to get it in a hurry without having to pull out more cardstock, because you guys know I don't like that. So we're going to add that little bit of color there. And now we're going to take our designer series paper that we had, and we're going to trim it down. And if you will cut that down to... Um, one and a half inches. Oh, I better measure that and make sure that is correct. One and a half inches of our designer series paper, and then we're going to have a strip left over. Well, let's take this piece here and adhere that over all that sloppy mess right there. We just want some of that yellow peeking through like so. All right, this piece here, we're actually going to cut it down if you'll cut off about two inches, you don't need to measure it, just make sure you give yourself about two inches. We actually need this piece, so set it aside. And I'm going to just create a little flag with this blue gingham that's on the other side. Now you guys know any of our designer series paper is going to be beautiful with this technique, but I just thought this uh, gingham was really nice on there. So we're going to adhere that onto our card. Now we can set this off to the side and we can come in with our Whisper White and we can start doing some stamping. Now to save some time, I did just a few in advance. We're going to be using three of the stamps from the six-sided stamp sampler. Um, whichever ones make you happy, but I started with the polka dots and this beautiful um, Island Indigo flower. So that's Daffodil Delight, Island Indigo. And now I'm going to come in with Melon Mambo. And I really liked this one here. I don't know what to call it except, I don't know, lines. Uh, there you go. Now you notice I kept these close together and down at the bottom. We did that for a reason. Um, I'm going to come in with my punch and we are going to punch all these out. The punch just makes it so amazingly easy. But you're going to do that to all of them. And this piece here, we're going to come in with this Hello Sweet Friend and an Island Indigo. We're just going to stamp that into that spot right there. Okay, let me get my ink pads out of the way. And we are going to now punch out this sweet hello or hello sweet friend, I'll get it. Uh, we're going to use the modern label punch and what I'm going to have you do is kind of line up that hello on the right hand side of the punch. So we're going to give that a little punch out and we can set that off to the side and we have just one more little thing. See this little empty area here? Well I just couldn't bear to throw that away. So let's come in with the bitty flower or the bitty butterfly and if you'll just punch out a bitty butterfly from there, and then this stamp already has some ink on it, and I'm just going to come in 
and stamp right over it so that I get just, it's a lighter color than uh, Melon Mambo, but it worked perfect. So I've got that little piece. Now we can put this card together. So let me find my, oh, I kind of buried myself. There we go. Get my card base and we're going to put these together. Now I put Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of all of uh, these um, six-sided punches. So I'm going to line up the points of that punch with the flag. Then I can come in with the pink one and I'm going to line up the points of that one with the other side of the flag. Like so. want to make sure those little flaggy guys hang on there so I don't want to go too far down. And my last one, we will line up the points of this one actually with the bottom of that flag like so. There we go. Now this um, Hello Sweet Friend that I punched out, I've got a stamp and dimensional on the back of that. And we're just going to tuck this underneath that flag. There should be enough room to do that. There we go. And let's just hang that out the back. I like that little bit of dimension. It kind of helps me there. And remember I said we had this piece left over? Well let's come in with the itty bitty shapes, that little four petal flower. And I'm going to punch out three of these. I'm going to try to get two of them in pink and one of them. It doesn't matter because I'm going to use um, that gingham side. So let me come in with some mini glue dots. And we are just going to adhere these very quickly. This one I want to adhere at the end of my hello. And this one, whoops, I'm just going to adhere this one down at the bottom of my card. And then the last one we're going to do um, the gingham side, and I'm just going to adhere that onto uh, my pink line guy, like that. Okay, very easy, right? Now, um, that butterfly that we punched out, I've got a stamp and dimensional on that, and you can see um, only on one side, or not a stamp and dimensional, I'm sorry, mini glue dot, and then I added some of our little pearls on there. And I thought those flowers needed a little bit of pearl work too. So let's come in with some of those fantastic adhesive back pearls. And we're just going to add those to all of these little flowers just to give it a little extra something. And it's what Margaret did and I just thought it was so pretty. So there we go. That is our card. Let me show you um, the inside I stamped. Uh, just a few of those little six-sided samplers in there. That is our flashcard today. And so a, just a wonderful shout out to Margaret and her fantastic talent and how she inspired me on today's flashcard. Well, listen, if you'd like to purchase any of the supplies that I use, that six-sided sampler bundle perhaps, you can order that by going to simplysimplestamping.com. There's an online order button. Click it. The item numbers have been put on the screen for you. You can just place that order and boom, it's going to be shipped right to you very easy and very quick. Now if you also like the idea of purchasing flashcards to go, you like everything pre-cut for you and uh, that way you can just get to the fun creative part, there's a place for you to order flashcard kits to go as well. All the card stock that you need, it's been pre-cut and ready for you to start your creativity and your fun. So be sure to check that out as well. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in to today's video. Have a great day and I can't wait to stamp with you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>